What's up guys and welcome to another episode of Pro Tip Series. My name is Yuris and I share valuable advice along the way in those short episodes where I give you tips, tricks, hacks, DIY tutorials where you can save time and money. Today's episode is kind of completing the water change in the aquarium behind me. If you haven't seen the previous ones, check them out up here. So to refill the aquarium I'm using RO water. RO water stands for reverse osmosis. That means through the osmosis membrane there is 99.9% .9 of everything in the tap water removed so it's super pristine. No algae spores, no bacteria, no chlorine, even no minerals of course. Then you have to refill the minerals back in but that's not a problem. So why I like using RO water? I like using RO water because it gives me full control about the water parameters in my aquarium. Each and every of my own aquariums, aquariums for my customers, they all have the same water parameters that I know work for me. I have full control on my water parameters because of my RO water. So the real pro tip here is the RO system that I'm using. I'm using a boosted system. They are called something like GPD 300, 500, 600, 800. I have the very big one, the GPD. 800. They have a boosting pump, which means those filters, they can produce a lot of RO water within a day. And also they produce less wastewater compared to non-boosted versions. For example, the GPD 75 or 125, they produce five times more wastewater compared to how much clean water they produce. And the boosted version is producing either just two times more wastewater or equal amount of wastewater like purified water. It's not possible to have just 100% clean water because there is water needed to flush the system, to clean it, otherwise it will get clogged. Another benefit of the boosted system is I get a lot of water in a very short period of time and I don't need a bucket to collect the water. What does it mean for me as an aquascaper? I have clean RO water when I need it. I have this little handy tap, I guess it's for CO2 parts and this is a little valve and you know just fixed with some zip ties and when I open the tap the water is running through the system directly into my aquarium. I can set a timer if I want, turn the water off automatically but that's something for another video. When the water is filled up basically just refill the minerals and the job is done. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this little pro tip here and if you did, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, share it with your friends if you want to, you know, have the advantage of those pro tips and I'm gonna see you in the next one.